What's up guys, Coverage Genius here back again with another video and today is Thursday, October 15th, 2020. I hope you guys are all well and that you've been having a fabulous week. I know I haven't posted any videos this week and this is the first one. And I've been doing some reflection and I wanted to kind of up the game a little bit for myself and try to create better content, better videos. So um, with that being said, I'm probably not going to be posting a video up every single day. Um, which will give me some time to think deeper into uh, uh, the things, the videos that I want to create. So with that being said, if this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate you checking out my channel. And if you've been here before, well, you know how it goes. Welcome back. Shout out to Dennis and Somo for subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate you guys. Please. Uh, like my video, subscribe to my channel, uh, let others in your network sphere um, uh, let them know about about this channel. Um, I really want to create a larger community where we can kind of discuss about a variety of different topics. So today's video is going to be about failure and the the uh, overall stigma of failure which the world has is that failure is bad and today I'm gonna just share with you why I think failure is not a bad thing but actually a good thing you know a lot of times when we go about in our daily lives and we fail um, we fail on certain things that we're trying to accomplish um, sometimes we feel ashamed about that sometimes we um, um, we feel ashamed embarrassed and and really create this negative type of uh, feeling towards ourselves we have negative thoughts we get depressed and um, I'm not a stranger to this because I failed so many times before in my life that it's just human nature to get down on yourself when you fail and I want to make this video to not only be a reminder for myself but also to kind of share with you uh, some of the things that I think about of why failure is a good thing because it just is all right so let's go I'm gonna talk about three things of why um, we shouldn't be down on ourselves with failure and the point one is failure is okay right there's no person in this entire world who hasn't failed at something, whether it's with school or whether it's with work. If you've never failed at something, you are a liar, okay? Because we all fail at things. I failed at so many things in my life and, um, and sometimes it's like a daily thing, right? So we all fail. I mean, the best of the best are probably the ones who have failed the most in their lives. I'm sure they've failed big time. I mean, I'm sure Elon Musk, right? Who's that famous billionaire who's uh, created Tesla and SpaceX. He's failed numerous amount of times, but what separates him from a lot of us is that he doesn't take that failure and he doesn't fear the failure. He doesn't allow failure to paralyze him. Rather, he takes that failure and he uses it to his benefit. He accepts the failure, he learns from it, and it moves on. And that brings me to point number two, which is failure is an advocate for success. And here's what I mean. It teaches us what not to do the next time around, right? I mean, if we are failing at the same things over and over again, that may be a red flag because we're not learning from our fails. We're not learning from our mistakes and we keep continue to make those same mistakes over and over again and failing at the same thing. If you fail, analyze why you failed. Learn from it and apply it to your life so that you learn from your mistakes, that you don't make the same mistakes again. So you learn from your fail and then you apply it, which brings me to point number three, which is your failure is gonna make you better. Let me say that again. Your failure is gonna make you 
better. You can translate your failure into motivation that's gonna make you better, work harder, and get farther. I mean, we all know making mistakes is frustrating. Making mistakes in business and personal friendships, relationships, in just everything, making a mistake causes so much frustration, right? And I know this very well. This week I've made so many mistakes, but the past is the past. I've said this before in prior videos. The past is, is the past. What's done is done. Don't dwell on what's in the past because that's gonna paralyze you. I mean, you can dwell on it a little bit, right? Because we're all humans. We all will get depressed a little bit, right? When we make a mistake and we will just question, what did we do wrong? Why is this happening to me? But you know what? Don't allow it to overcome you. Don't sulk on it. Don't dwell on it. Don't pity yourself, right? We can always get to that point where we pity ourselves. Instead, use what you learned, right? Get out of the funk. Use what you learned to make yourself better so that you can get to where you wanna go, all right? So I know it's easier said than done, right? And with everything that you do, it, it comes with practice. So let's start with little things, right? If you made a little mistake, you know, practice on yourself and say, look, I made a mistake, take a step back, I've made a mistake, I've analyzed what it is that I did wrong, I'm gonna make the adjustment and then I'm going to see better results. Because you will, if you take that process and you break it down step by step and you make those tweaks and those changes, then how can you not get to a better place? Will you make small leaps, big leaps, drastic leaps? We don't know. But that's the beauty of what learning is all about. That's the beauty of what failure does for us because when we fail, we're told we did something incorrectly. It's, it's, it's a great thing. And this is why failure is a great thing. Because none of us are perfect. If we never failed at anything, we'd always think we were perfect. We wouldn't be, you know, put into place. We wouldn't be checked, right? But because we make failures, it's like a trial and error run, right? You try something, it doesn't work. You adjust. You try again, it doesn't work. You, you adjust. You try again, it worked better, but there was still something that didn't work. You adjust. And this is what, what learning does. And this is where experience develops and eventually wisdom, right? Don't fear your failure. Don't dwell, sulk, and pity yourself on your failures. Instead, Try to change your thinking and approach that, yeah, I failed and it's a bummer, it sucked, but what can I adjust? What can I tweak? What can I do the next time around so that I can get closer to my goal, that I can be better, and that I can reach to where I want to go? All right, guys, that's today's video. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please smash the like button, hit subscribe. Leave a comment below. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you guys real soon. Have a great day. Peace.